Quick reactions there, is able to blink away. Skida, oh, taking some heavy hits there from his reflection. As they'll step him out, can they take him down the once? They try and they'll be able to do so. And that's the reincarnate gone. Boxy trying to come up with the BKP, but the Will O' Wisp is down into the Fisher onto the four of them. They'll get the last round, but the battle of the end goes out from Biver. He gets them all. Biver, beautiful jump straight into the half liquid. Sends them shattering to their base. Gwyn has to be careful. Roger's starting to scout out. He hasn't seen him yet in the tree line. It's gonna jump down from the tree, start going for Iceberg, hoping for some chain bashing. The Lotus Orb bounce back onto the Abyssal Blade, pulls him in, but Seiyu, he's gonna die twice with the black hole! Coming in from General, that's gonna be catching all three that are left. Another third black hole is gonna be used, and that should be the end of the game as Empire. They're gonna try and hold out with the buybacks here. Gwynblind, he's hoping for a Wukong's command here to be able to set up, but Navi are just gonna continue to back themselves away with all these buybacks. Can Empire manage to be able to hold out here? That's now a leveler picked up. They can hand that one over to Ace if he wants it. He wants to get rid of it. I hear a lasso, oh, and they'll get the drag back the over onto Gilgar, but the follow boom, they'll turn right back around again using the BKB over onto Curry. Can they take him down fast enough? Dream Coil does get used, though. They're being held into place. Gilgar throwing out the fish and drag back into oh the end of slam God. in the wall. It's beautiful. Followed up with the Ice Lasso over the back line. It cleans up. And now Mambos, he's trying to man fight Ace here. Ace just spends a little time. He says, oh, look at Curry. I'm going to take that. And then the fear, it was nice, but it didn't do enough because they still just took down all of the hippos and the Wombo Combo Dream. Exorcism is still 40 seconds, though. And buybacks will start coming out. B-Tune really trying to hold He's in! He's got the Black Hole General! He jumps forward straight away, but do they have to follow up? They bring him a post -killer. The Sony Wave comes in from the side. They've taken down Toronto Tokyo. They've taken down Yatoro. Buybacks coming out for Spirit, but they can't get back over in time. Mirror up in the air. Navi, they should be able to find him as well as the Shadow Realm will soon come to an end. He's looking for V-Tune, but he hasn't got the damage on his own. As Mirror's gone, Yatoro as well, out for two minutes. That's a dieback on the Monkey King. Uh, good luck. Guys, this is, we've talked about not bullying. He is definitely bullying right now, but they follow up. They'll turn around. The TP coming out. He's going to be able to walk away as they turn back around. They have left behind this Medusa. Slayer goes down. Echo Slam followed up, though. It's beautiful. Eggnard, he gets off the black holes over as the three of them. Can they turn this around? The ghosts, they're swirling around, though. They're dancing. Eggnard goes down. They'll try chasing after Gwimblet. He's got no mana there. That is a dead quap. And they just call the GG. They realize they can't do anything else in this game. Otherwise, we're Here going to Kuroki. a third and deciding game as Kuro's going to lead the way with the Exorcism blinking in inside the cogs with the Midnight Pulse already out. A big new coming out from Thompson. Miracle tries to show himself, but he immediately gets pulled into the black hole. Another pull in for the vacuum and Mind Control. He'll die as well. GH is the topper, and that's it. Lettuce Tomato. I didn't watch that episode. I watched all the others, but didn't watch that. There's one. the blink in. They're going to pop the Lincolns. They've also got the toss up into the air. And the Morphic taking a lot of damage to BKB. Be popped by Gabby. They'll get the kill on the KP, but into the static storm. Here they There's come. The Echo goal. slammed down. Drew is gone. Freezing field coming in for the Crystal Maiden. Is it going to be enough to get the kill on the Tims? They'll take out Hyde. They've also sold the Tiny. They're going to buy back on Tims right away with the BKB be pop here by Armel. Kezq, he falls. Now Makoto, he's next in line to go down. And OD is gone. Oh boy, FBZ, he's going to be next. That's a you can cool run theme, fast. Baby. But you can't get away from the double fissure totems. <laughs> it's Morphling, Earthshaker combining into one, and they will take out your entire team. They might actually, with the swift blink, they He's might. looking for collapse. He's looking for Maposhka, but they'll wait it out. Set up with the ATOS. Over the side of the wall. Oh, beautiful jump. Ghosting. He gets in with the three man Ravage. It's going to be Maposhka down. Maposhka will buy back straight away. Yatoro is able to turn onto Palantimos. He's now going to move over towards Ghosting. I mean, it was a great Ravage, but that might not necessarily secure them. The team fires. Ghosting will go down over to the side. Pikachu trying to burst through this Wind Ranger, and he will manage to do so as Toronto Tokyo will fall. Pikachu having to put the BKB oh, to get away. The Blood Bright Silence on the You're so far. Sets up for the kill. Now they're looking for Slayer. Two buybacks from Unique because they're trying to get back over here. They're trying to get Yatoro, but Yatoro Look takes down Slayer. The arm they toggling, keeping him alive as he now turns his efforts over towards Pikachu. Pikachu Pikachu, he will get stunned up and taken out. Triple kill for Collapse. What are those buybacks? The self astrals. Crystal Maiden is coming and they blink the OD out of there, leading to this torrent initiation on Leo style. Self Yules doesn't have the blink to escape, so the boat's gonna land perfectly square on his head, but he's speedy, he's got a haste. The Earthshaker runs away and that snowball dragged into the tier one.
The Meteor Hammer landing on the Wind Ranger, but the Blink oh, Echo! Echo! Leo style! Beautiful! Absolutely gorgeous reinitiation! You forget for one second about that Earthshaker, and he comes and dunks you down! Tusk salving, but he's gone! A double for Leo, and Frank is gonna chase out this Tusk as well! Crystal Maiden, where are you? Save your friends, because they're all falling apart! Ooh, TP <laughs> attempt? Not gonna work! Leo's what here with a triple kill! Yeah, no. Oh! They found the jump, Ravage as well. Afterlife catches the three of them into the impale. Oh, oh it, it happened God. so quickly. But it couldn't have been done any better there. So it got dewarded. They did not have a good opportunity to go in. But he's Sky. He gets jumped on right at the start. Has to pop the press the attack. Now the jump around. Wait, they have the Raking Illusion. That's a big one to get. Yeah. The M Sun gonna fall. Look at it. Look at it's tearing them apart. They actually force out the egg as it's gonna run That's down huge. Jube. Look at that Wraith Tree! There's your monster. damage! Oh wait, but they got Rises. They yeah. kill off the Weaver. What more can they do here as they try and turn this to taunt? They catch him, but the oh. big head go! Look at Sabo! Coming oh. through and takes them all down! What a freaking win! The A-Team! Oh my god! Prince is now going to try and chase down Zero in the presence of Magnus. The Joker finds some sanity. Goodness, they're moving back in. Dude, they want to come and contest. This is wild. The cut, looking for an opening. Bloody nine, gonna get stunned right at the start by Scorch McDuck. They don't have anything extra to control. Malphus now down. Little Nick found Yarn. He's gonna Listen. drop, but the big black hole comes oh. out afterwards. Lukey, Lukey, he did it to him. Oh, baby, a triple. And now looking for Scorch McDuck afterwards. The stun is out. The chase down commences. Have they done it, Trent? Oh my god, mass buybacks abound, and now the bash comes out as well. Abyssal Blade back up at 10, but Nick, he's trying to salvage everything. Bloody Nine going to drop, but they take down three. Little Nick gets bashed, and this proc comes out. He self astrals. Crystal Maiden is coming, and they blink the OD out of there, leading to this torrent initiation on Leo style. Self Yules doesn't have the blink to escape, so the boat's gonna land perfectly square on his head, but he's speedy, he's got a haste. The Earthshaker runs away, and that snowball dragged into the tier one. The Meteor Hammer landing on the Wind Ranger, but the Blink oh, Echo! Echo! Leo style! Perfect Beautiful! Idea. Absolutely gorgeous reinitiation! You forget for one second about that Earthshaker, and he comes and dunks you down! Tusk salving, but he's gone! A double for Leo! And Frank is gonna chase out this Tusk as well! Crystal Maiden, where are you? Save your friends, because they're all falling apart! Ooh, TP <laughs> attempt? Not gonna work! Leo's What's here with he a triple kill! Let's see if Miracle can get the initiation. Starting to scout things off. He's in straight away. Oh. Big off for GH comes slamming down in the middle of the three of them. And straight away, the two of them are out of it. The Aegis is gone. So they can kill him a second time. Miracle looking for his target. He's going to go for Quaifa in with the Abyssal. Straight on over the Drow. GH has taken out Tiger. Quaifa, he's trying to get out of this. He's teeping out of the low ground, but the BKB comes to an end. Yule Stepper puts a stop to his escape. Quaifa's gonna fall. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly, no buybacks on either, on two of those zeros. He's be able to get the jump in. This time only onto the troll. Can they burst him down though? He's trying to get back in on this Kezu, but over to the side nine. He's already in and on top of Aramis. Gita moves in with a battle chance. Leads through Kezu, over by the goes towards Boom. You'll see Shad jump in from the side. He's trying to get involved, but the silence is upon him. He popped the enrage. He's looking for 33. See if he can chase down this dark seer surges up and Bible with another shard. Blocks off any attempt from Viking to chase and Tundra. They're Skip not even hit. done yet. He's ready to go. The oh, vacuum on the three of them into the ink swell. They're all dead. Oh, oh my god. Alright, that was uh Viber. The spell on them. They're still looking for the lead and S4 is gonna commit. He's found the opening onto nine, but they're able to turn and S4 is getting burst low, but he's still alive. The Fisher into the aftershock, into the Echo Slam Holy from afar. He doesn't even need to hit them. It's just keeping that aftershock going and going and going as FNG just locks them all down from a mile off. He's able to make it out of there. See if the rest of the Lift to Wing can also get themselves back to safety. Smiling Light chasing down. He has an Omni Slash ready to go and here he pops it. Straight over, but they're able to split the damage rather nicely. Ravage comes out under the three of them. They're trying to turn. FN with the armor toggle, keeping himself alive as Gwyn goes down. See if they can get more for this lift to win. FN, he's standing his ground against Smiling Knight. He kites him back with the Dragon Tail stun. 
FN's going to be fine. Lift to win. They can look to turn and try and chase down these cores. Impale off the mark. A smiling light is off to the side, but the chains from Dream catches the two of them. It's a double kill for Dream. They're going to be able to find Petu as well as Lift to win. Able to turn that fight round beautifully. Trying to seek this bottom tier two. Primal Roar gets committed. Now they've got the BKB as well as the Spear. This hits. Astro Improvement to save the Beastmaster. They get the kill on a Dap EP. And now the Stolen Primal Roar with the Echo Slam on a three. They'll get the kill on a KP. But how much more are they going to grab from this? They look over as the Walrus Punch hits on a Hustle. They get the kill on the Earthshaker. Now they're down to just two heroes up against the four of TNC. Astro Imprisonment coming through as well as the arrow onto Red. Meanwhile, Hunk's dead to Gabby. It'll be a full team wipe for TNC. And now they're up 22,000. This is where Alchemist... They just don't have the damage. Everyone is so tanky, except for Dream. He's probably the one that can get going. Oh, and over to the side, they found Petu. FM blinks in, they're able to take him out. Gwyn committing with the BKB, trying to at least find Immersion. He will get the Nyx assess, but the Dragon Tail Stone onto the joke. Follow Ravage. Smiling like he gets the, the Blade Fury off just in time. Can he live? But he's got to run. They're, they're going to look to chase him out. He'll pop the Omni Slash. It will get shared between them. And that means that nobody will fall to it. Another jump from FN. He's in with the Dragon Tail Stone onto Smiling Knight. Smiling Knight goes down. Gwyn trying oh, to finish Gwyn. off the Nako. They have got the grab onto FN. Gwyn is out of mana. See if they've got enough damage to fight. This is Gwyn. He's, he's not got anything left in the tank. Can they get back in on him? They can Afterlife. He just blinks back in. FN jumps over to say it. As they're all down at the moment on Empire. Over on the back, lines. <laughs> these, these books are causing so many problems for Eknard. He's literally being chased by Necro books, and he just dies to them. As over on the other side here, Medusa now she's totally out of mana. They might be able to finally get the kill, but the Echo Slam comes off, and they take that Eknard. Take down Zayu. Down goes Smiling Knight. Gwynblythe is hiding in the trees. Oh, Ghost Sticky was right next to him. He's getting a couple of these chomps off. They do have the blink. Palantimos does eventually fall here as Petrashar chasing after Slayer. Pikachu will get the bounce back. Slayer is going to be just fine as he throws out another hit and down. Down goes Petashara. Roshan still a little bit low. The two smokes are going to run into each other, leading off the Fisher. Follow up stun, but the imprisonment's there. Oh, what a hit from Eknar with a nice hook shot, grabbing some heroes. Is going to be able to bring down Shancho and Chu with that. Plus, G goes into the grave with Smiling Knight, knocking him out with a shotgun. Nefrit is now left alone with buybacks coming in, but his mana is being burned away bit by bit. Petchy Shara dropping everything he has. This Medusa, though, it might be too yeah. big as Mellow Jewel is able to take down Petchy Shara. And now, with the chain stuns raining in, Smiling Knight cannot. Stand toe to toe to Nefrit. Really shows how itemization can make such a large difference in these games. Breaking Skeeter here. See if they can pop him real quickly. They do manage to get the pullback of the Astral Remnant, but he gets the BKB. Looks to be able to jump away, but they're going to stay wow. on top of him, and that's enough. Huge kill. Tundra overstepping themselves. Oh, it's by Carrot Base. Managed to catch Fada. The dive bomb coming in. Fada stunned up for a second. Does manage to get a nice vacuum. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh. A 33-9 Wombo combo will take down Nygma. They don't need Skeeter, it seems. Not anymore. Oh, and he's got it. He just walks in with the blur. He picks it up. There's going to be a smoke up here. Front Spirit. Spirit, they're good to go. There's the jump. Ravage. Collapse. He's in with the Ravage. He finds Pichu and he finds Iceberg. A beautiful jump there yet again from Spirit with Collapse leading the way. These Ravages every single time. It's just ended the fight. I mean, as badly as they dumpstered OG in game one, it's even worse for Nygma this time around. But maybe an opportunity. Oh, no, the Echo Slam. It didn't actually They're hit Thompson. Now he's going to be pulled back into the wall. Oh, this is a disaster for Nygma. As Kuro is actually healing up a lot until the Omni Slash bolt cuts him down as well as Weeha. And you know, mind control, he's not going to be let out, that, out of this so easily either. They're scouting the wards now, too, to make sure there's no vision. Puppy. As he gets the dream caught down, the two is separated them. We've got Nisha trying to go for Celery, but Celery's out with the Glimmer Cape. Zai popping the Exorcism. They're starting to spam the, the Lances in onto Boom. Boom gets the lockdown with the Lasso, but Boom is falling low. Zai able to buy time here with the Self Fuels Viking. With the remainder of their BKBs, can they actually kill off Zai? No, Zai's got the movement. He's able to step out to the side. Zai's going to live. Matthew's starting to move in. Fisher out onto the fourth, then the follow up with the Axe Look at that Yapsaw. He's in with the Echo onto the three of them. Shuts down. He's dead and gone for 70 seconds. And they're just cleaning them up one by one. They're going to be able to get the team wipe off the back of that wow. secret. Uh, I, that was, which has recall around the map, which says everything.
Yeah, certainly. Oh, no they tail. start off with a stun onto No Tail, and there's such long range stuns. Now, Miracle got a little bit low there, but fortunately, the Hex stops. Oh, what about the strike? On to three with the Wukong's already out. Kuro's certainly there's dead, and they're going to pull him back in. Seb on the other side. The trap is laid, and OG slam it shut onto Nigma, catching multiple cores, and it looks like they're not going to let Mind Control get away either. A TP out, and he stuns. Oh, they did. Taka didn't. is. Yeah, I'll scout things out, see what happens. They're just buying time right now. Arrow flying oh. in. Fade looking to set up. Blink Echo! And he, he gets snatches it. the Aegis! Fade! Coming in crotch, dunks him! He uh, loses still that worth life. It. He's gonna die a second time, but takes it out of the hands of IG. Fade! Very the Perfect tips. Time. Yeah, there are the tips, even from the enemy team, because uh, it was a big one. Looking dead. Yeah, he's getting chased here by Box. So just a couple of clicks. And eventually down goes No Tail. The loose tops into the top lane though, but oh, the black hole coming in from Taiga Koifa. Gonna be able to just kite them left and right. They get the kill on Seb. Mid one is left all alone. They have the double damage on Mikke. It's gonna be Taiga who cleans up. A disaster for OG. The Bottom lane. Liquid. They're gonna oh, go God. right after Socks. He just wanted levels, guys. No, it's a double or sorry, a triple kill for Mikke.